Hi Aries, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your March 2020 reading. Um, I took a bit of a break there, about a month or so, and I just wanted to say thank you for hanging in and sticking by me. I really appreciate it. And uh, anyway, so let's get started with your video. Um, I was shuffling the cards here before I started the video. I always do in between. And look at what jumped out. The Emperor. If there's an Aries card, you know this is it. This is um, a very mature person. You know, there's could be a grandfather even. He is, um, he's the king of his castle, what he says go. It's about having things under control, um, being responsible for more than just yourself. You're responsible for others, your family, your, you know, it's the father figure, really, the emperor is. But it can be the boss or someone who has control over the situation, okay? So, anyway, um, very interesting. Actually, I'm going to put that over here because that's where I lay my cards. I'm in my living room this afternoon, just kind of relaxing. Me and Carmela, I'm in my new place, moved again, you know. I'm always moving. <laughs> what does Aries need to know for March 2019? Tell me for Aries... All the Aries that are going to watch this video, what do they need to know? That That's good enough for me. That is good enough for me. All right, let's see what we got. I'm doing a past, present, future, three lines. And there's going to be five cards in each line, okay? So let's see what we got for you. In the past, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Death. Page of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Two of Swords. So, you know, this looks like the end of a situation. Could be the end of um, perhaps running a business, running an empire, running a, fa running a family, you know. Um, but I get the sense it's it's running this business could be the end of that that uh, or something that you've been in control of um, with the ten of Pentacles though it's success you know you reach the goal you've done it you've provided uh, what you need to per for perhaps generations you know like I said with the Emperor but this is the end of that um, I don't know if it's your choice or someone else's, but with death comes rebirth, comes, you know, out of the ashes. You know what I mean? So, um, then there is the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups could be a message coming in. It could be from home, from... Um, long ago some from someone long ago okay um and and you're not sure or you were not sure what to do about it um i think you really wanted to because you know with the page it's not just the message it's about being feeling new at expressing yourself like this feeling new or or vulnerable perhaps um really wanting to you know really wanting to this could commit this message could have come in very quickly after this ending for you um but it's a message from someone or people i i think family perhaps in the past and this message um 
might confuse you a little. You, you feel like you don't have all the information or enough information to make a good decision, to make a decision, um, a wise decision, a well-informed decision, okay? Not really wanting to budge yet until you have more information. All right, so in your present, you have the Eight of Cups, um, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles right in the dead center of your reading. What a wonderful card. <gasps> then the Ace of Wands. Talk about new beginnings, didn't I tell you? The Hermit. All right. So I like to look at them across, but I also like to look at them up and down and zigzag and all over. I find if the cards touch, they can relate to each other if they touch. Um, so, um, you, <laughs> I think this is you walking away from something stable, something secure, something grounded. Yeah, I, I think you were bored, you were yearning for something new, a, uh, a different way to express yourself, perhaps, okay? Something missing for you here, all right, in that situation. So wanting to walk away, reluctant, but so <laughs> this is your second page, by the way. Again, pages feel um, perhaps like they don't know everything about this, you know, uh, it's youthful energy. It's like I want to start something, do something new, and I just have, you know, a one pentacle, uh, starting fresh. Um, and the one pentacle, ah, oh, this glare is kind of bugging me. Um, this one pentacle represents, um, you know, your knowledge, your um, what you know about this. But the goat represents your determination, um, your um, finding a way, you know, finding a way with just what you have here. Then the Ace of Pentacles. So this is it. This is the idea, okay? You get an idea and you're ready to move forward with it slowly but um, quite determined, you know, you feel you can do this, okay? Um, that Ace of Pentacles is, could be a new financial opportunity, business opportunity, a chance for you to grow, like I said, um, a really good idea, golden, they call it the golden opportunity. Um, um, you see this as a good idea. So, then the Ace of Wands. The idea of the how. How to put it into action. You know you, you've got the idea of, to make money. To grow. But this is about the how. The idea of how to um, put it into action. It's change. Look at all the buds on this one wall. It's kind of represented um, in as the maypole thing. It's got the the three things around it, the potential of it, you know. So, wow, you know, really exciting. <clears throat> and then the hermit. This is deep introspection, thought, you know, really giving this some deep thought. And... Um, uh, and consideration, you know, before you start on the path. The hermit kind of kind of goes in. He's heard what other people have to say, and now he's got to go in and think if he's ready for this. If he's, if it's like, like I said, it's introspection. Do I really want to do this, you know? Because it's exciting, but it's brand new to you. You don't feel completely, totally experienced, you know? Um, just a sec. 